Hi, my name is Adam Stein, and I'm a faculty member in the Applied Biological Sciences here at ASU. I, along with other faculty members, have worked with the ASU community and conservation organizations over the last year and a half to establish burrowing owls here on the ASU Polytechnic campus. My motivations were driven not only for the welfare of the owl species, but also to increase student engagement in campus life and direct conservation actions. In May of this year, we were able to establish two burrowing owl pairs to a part of campus that was ecologically defunct. In just a few short months that the owls have been here on campus, we have had an overwhelming response and involvement from students, staff, and the greater ASU community, all coming together to ensure that the transition for the owls from captivity to, the, to now a wild state would be a success. As I prepare my teaching schedule for this um, upcoming semester, I want to incorporate these owls and the patch of land that they occupy into a hands-on learning experience. One of my courses focuses in on plants that are used in restoration efforts. In previous semesters, I had to work with students off campus in remote locations to try and illustrate, illustrate certain aspects of my course. Now, I plan to work directly with my students to convert this ecologically defunct parcel of land into a thriving little ecosystem with the goal of identifying, propagating, and then planting those particular species that will attract appropriate prey species and thus support owls as the apex predator in this microhabitat. This project will also be used for another one of my courses where I teach ecological sampling techniques. So you can see as one group of student plants, trees, and other species there, another cohort of students will be monitoring and sampling that area to collect actual data that will help elucidate the e efficacy of our restoration efforts and help guide us into those next steps. The funds that we collect for the OWL project will help us purchase plant species, uh, the tools needed to propagate and plant those species, and then the equipment to monitor that restoration site. Supporting this OWL project will also help the students grasp the process of respiration and monitoring, but more importantly, I think it will provide a unique set of inspiration and hope in an often daunting field of conservation. 